Four outstanding women are being honored by the Salt River Heritage Society. They are veteran journalist Karima Brown, unionist Khadija Isaacs, political activist Zoraya Abbas, and celebrated poet Gladys Thomas. They all grew up in that area of South Africa. As part of Heritage Day celebrations, the society has unveiled murals of the activist. Let's discuss this on a feather here with Lufti Omar from the Salt River Heritage Society. Mr. Omar, good afternoon. Thanks for your patience and welcome to today here on ENCA. What led you to decide for this particular Heritage Day to honor these four women that I've just mentioned? Well, the way we started was we developed a people's history timeline. And uh, the aim of the timeline was to develop an interactive tool to be used to spark memories of the past and uh, conversations about the future of Salt River. And this was a work in progress. So we started off in 2018, and every year people would come with their uh, tributes and, and, and their uh, um, uh, memorial kind of uh, events that they would paste onto this timeline. And um, we, we then, from this timeline, you know, we took out uh, uh, stories that we felt that needed to be memorialized. And uh, uh, from this uh, uh, timeline, we, we found uh, Khadija Isaacs, uh, we found Gladys Thomas, we found Karima Brown, and we found Suraya Abbas. Now, some of them I knew, I grew up with them, and uh, uh, some of them uh, I, I heard from my parents. So these are the, this is how we came about uh, finding these, these uh, uh, legends or, you know, in, in, in our community. Um, and also, uh, we're also trying to, um, you know, when we, when we celebrate heritage it's not, and history, it's not only about men, but also about the women in our community. And they are the reason they, they molded us and they shaped us and they gave us our identity in Salt River. Yeah, so you're, you're honoring them by, by, by putting up these murals, like as you've said, you've done for other, other heroes uh, over the time. I mean, but this time you wanted to make sure you focus on, on, on the women. The, 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 the murals, are, are, did you manage to put them up yesterday, the paintings of these, uh, of these uh, women, of these heroes? Not, not yet. Uh, the process is that you need to apply for a permit to the, to the city of Cape Town and uh, uh, it takes about 30 days uh, before they give you a permit. So it's a lot of red tape, you know, that you have to go through. So what we've done is that we, in the meantime, we've, we've, we've unveiled it in the form of a banner, uh, but it will definitely go onto uh, the halls of, of Salt River. This is also part of, you know, um, of memorializing uh, our history and our heritage through a community art. And, uh, you know, it's memorialized in this way and it showcases uh, local artists in our in, in our community, and it's also there to what we what we what we term as community art as a medium of memory and heritage in the community. So it's also engaging people. You know, uh, people. Uh, you know, the neighbors will say, "Yes, we know Karima Brown. She lived around the corner." So yes, uh, it's 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 a it's a tool yeah. of. of Memorialized, but it's also a tool of uh, igniting discussion and uh, debate around issues in our community. You're not just doing that, I must tell you. You're not just igniting issues and debate in our communities and honoring legends and heroes and sheroes like these four women that you're doing now. What you're also doing is creating awareness of the need for us to understand who are the people, the different roles played by different people in the struggle against apartheid. I mean, I, I knew I had long ago of Gladys Thomas, but until I saw what you were doing now, I did not understand deeply her contribution as a poet and the fact that uh, the, 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 the anthology of poem that she did with another poet in 1971 was the first anthology of poem to be banned by a government in our country. 1972 yes yes uh, yes I mean Gladys Thomas I mean again you know she she speaks uh, um, in her poetry about forced removals you know and how that affected us and till up to till today 
that's affecting us you know the how we uh, how she was moved from uh, lakeside then from a uh, forcing move from uh, simonstown to ocean view and uh, the effect of 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 that you know it's it's just it's, it's just horrific uh, um, i attended the the newlands claremont heritage walk and uh, um, a person was sharing a story that you know when when the when the government came to the house to say you know the, you have to move she 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 had a heart attack and she died you know some people when they moved after a week they passed away um but also it split families apart you know and and uh it caused uh, much pain and 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 suffering uh, amongst our community so yes you know uh, today you know we 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 can learn from that uh, history but also it's it's kind of repeating itself uh we have forced removals in a new way uh you know what we call gentrification which is the economic force removal and in salt of a um being a closed community uh you know uh, it's it it, it the, the most of our, our our residents they are they are uh, elderly people and they are um kind of uh they they become because of gentrification you know that they, they are forced to move on yeah. the because they can't afford the the rights in, in our area so they yeah. are the vulnerable um, people in our community so yeah, no, well done we, yeah no i think it's a it's a great work that you, that you do i don't know salt river myself i've never been to that part of of, of the western cape but but just reading about your efforts uh, during this past weekend with heritage day uh, uh, having been on saturday has really picked more interest to say we need to learn more and we learn all the time and i really thank you for your time lufti omar here but i want to end here i want to end here for benefit of our viewers who might not have have have, have read this poem before because you've touched on it the poem that talks about forced removals and that she wrote way back in the 70s that's Gladys Thomas and it goes as follows houses stand showing gaping wounds the people they've sheltered are gone a broken flower pot sits forlornly on a windowsill the lone flower it holds waves sadly in the wind a store shown of good sports a scabby cat asleep on its shattered counter people walk the street scanning each other's face for assurance that the district is still alive a lorry trundles along tires sagging second hand furniture going into exile i think that's the poem that she wrote that talks about uh, the forced removals brought on by group areas act so many years ago yet again thank you very much uh, for doing this may you continue i hope the city of cape town I, what's who's the mayor there jordan hill lewis i hope he's listening and watching they don't have to delay such a beautiful echo event to happen that bureaucracy they must move faster with that red tape thank you very much thank you very much then that's lufti omar from the salt river heritage society it's important to understand that part of our heritage is found in the history it's not just what's happening today in terms of praying or food or dancing or eating or whatever it's also far. our heritage goes far back and we need to be proud of it as south africans Still